welcome back to another Maze Plus video. And today we're going to talk about silage additive. Um, and this was prompted by a question on the Maze Plus Discord. And I'm sorry, I can't remember who asked it. Um, some of you may have noticed that with Maze Plus enabled, only certain things use silage additive, particularly um, forage harvesting, base uh, whole crop, because that uses the chaff fill type. And if you are baling or loading with a forage wagon with either chaff or conditioned grass. So I'm going to take you through how to add the other fill types to the uh, to the mods. You uh, you have to edit the vehicle. It's not something we can do in Maze Plus. So mostly I have mods here. I do have a base game baler over there that I'll be showing you on. Um, be careful editing base game stuff because if you do multiplayer, you will all need to have edited it but or just use a modded baler because that way it is easier you'll need to have the same version of the modded baler but i was looking this morning i couldn't find a modded one quickly that took signage additive and i know the crone one does so let's jump out of the game into the mods folder and have a look at what we need to edit so we're in the mods folder and what we need to do is edit the xml for the forage harvester the um forage wagon and then the baler the baler is base game and i'll show you how to do that as well i said be cautious when you do that um i would recommend you do it with a mod the process will be the same i'm doing it with the base game one because that's what i could find at the time um, so we're going to go into the crone big x 580 and open up the xml file for it and the easiest way to find the section we want is to search for chaff um, so this is the bit that controls uh, additive usage, and we want to add in some extra fill types. Uh, so I've got the, the maze plus fill types file open because that's the easiest way to do it. And I'm going to go down to the mixer wagon section, forage wagon section, sorry, which is here. And we want to add wet grass windrow and semi dry grass windrow. Um, So we'll add those. We want to, oh God, brain's not very awake this morning. We want to add chopped maize. That's when we're doing maize silage. And we want to add, I don't think we need to add this one to the forage harvester. I'm going to add it anyway, crop windrow. Um, it's more for the balers and the pickup wagons. So hopefully that won't cause any issues. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy all of those because we're going to want to use them in the other things. So if we highlight them and do a control C and then if we save that and close it and go back to 7-zip, it should have been asking us if we wanted to update the archive, which it wasn't. I love it when a tutorial goes well. Now we'll do, we'll paste those back in. We'll do save and close and update the archive there we go hopefully that has taken now let's just double check okay because this is going super smoothly yep there we go so next step is to close that one and i think that's the forage wagon and i'm using i think the 330 um We'll have to check. But again, we'll search for chaff. Okay, that didn't work. Let's try that one. No, okay. I I hadn't uh, dive, dove in to the XML files for the individual mods, which I maybe should have done. There we go. Ah, because it only does grass. That makes sense. Um, so, again, let's paste that in there. We, uh, yeah, we'll leave chopped maize in as well. Um, it's possibly unrealistic. In fact, you wouldn't pick up chopped maize with a forage wagon. you just blow it straight into a trailer, wouldn't you? So ignore that. Um, so that will let's pick up the different types of grass and crop windrow with a forage wagon. Um, yes, I'm going to check these ones as well so there we go yep 
I'll do them all just because I'm not sure which one that I have actually got in game. And you just get to see me do this quite a lot. And I say the reason this wasn't done is because it needs to be done to the vehicle and it couldn't be implemented as a global function like the rest of most pluses. So um, that's why it didn't work. I funnily, I had just taken it as a it doesn't work. And then someone asked, well, can I make it work? Sometimes I don't think to ask these questions and the alien ball gave us the answer as he always does. So to do the base game stuff, you want to find wherever you've got uh, farming simulator installed go into data and vehicles and find whatever you're using i'm using a crone baler it's there and i think it's the big pack uh, so if we again search for grass there we go and paste and i'm going to leave chop maze in for this one because you might bail maze with a square baler it's maybe unrealistic uh the pool the alien pool would tell me i wouldn't but i'm going to leave it in because if you're doing a round baler that's got this you're going to want it in there so save close and you don't need to update anything for this one obviously because it's not a mod um and i'll reload the game and we'll have a look and see if it works so we're back in the game and before we make a start, I just want to say thank you to the patrons and the YouTube channel members for supporting my uh, random little hobby project. Really do appreciate that. Um, and now let's get into chopping some maize. So if you've done this with Maze Plus already, you'll know that silage additive does not normally work. And you will see now that it does work. And that means we will be getting the bonus for our chopped maize now. I'm just thinking about what I said about adding to the baler. Maybe you wouldn't because you're double accounting for additive because you're adding additive here and then you're going to add it in the baler. So yeah, I probably wouldn't do that actually. In fact, I would probably take that out for my own stuff. But yep, yeah, see, using silage additive, which means we will be getting the bonus. Uh, jumping in the forage wagon. Um, We'll, uh, we'll run over the Cropsworth, I think. Um, so I mowed some of the wheat that's next to us. And you can see that, again, we're using silage additive where before we wouldn't have been. Um, I don't really do much whole crop, but, you know, there you go. If you want to use it for whole crop, it now works. Um, and if we jump in the Deutz which I always say is one of my favorite brands, but never use in tutorials, and I should use it more. So I'm going to. And again, we'll uh, just start running over it. And you can see again, we are using some of the signage additive. And then if we go to the grass over here, I'm just gonna empty the baler with these dev tools. Because uh, I realize some people don't know what I mean when I say F12, I mean easy dev tools. Um, and we've got, um, fresh conditioned and semi-dry grass here right. um, and I didn't want to do that let's put the baler down and uh, for some reason I think that's just yeah you go. it's just using up the last of the crop swath and there we go you can see that we are now using silage additive for our fresh grass which you wouldn't of before um, I didn't demonstrate it before but take my word for it I'm trustworthy honest um, even though I'm cheating and using easy dev tools to control things um, so if we go to the condition grass now this one works anyway um, because it uses the base game grass windrow fill type um, but you'll see we've switched over now to conditioned grass in the baler and it's working so you don't use much silent additive, but obviously you're getting the bonus from it, which is really nice. Uh, particularly with Maze Plus, where you need so much grass and other things. And then we've got semi-dry grass. Um, let's just test this one. I just wait for the baler to switch over. Come on, baler. Um, hopefully I won't run out of semi-dry grass. There we go. 
semi-dry grass and using up silage additive. So that's all of those. Why would you want to bale semi-dry grass, you might ask, if you're making silage? Well, bonus tip, um, which you may or may not have found, you can bale all three of these to make silage. Because of the moisture content, they get lighter the more you ted them. And that means you can get more in the baler because baler capacity is based on the weight of the bale to some extent. So if you, um, I can't remember how much you get in, but if you mow and then bale fresh or wet grass, they're both the same, for silage, you'll get very heavy bales with a bit less in. It's about 500 liters less, but they're really heavy. Um, you need quite a big bit of kit to move them about. If you do conditioned grass, you get normal amount of bales and normal weight of bale and then if you do semi-dry grass you'll get a bit more in the bale i think and you'll get a lighter bale so um there is definitely a reason to ted your grass before you bale it or at least condition it um but that's it really um nice short little tutorial on uh, making it so that silage additive is used for more of the maize plus crops if you found this video useful, please click the like button. If you've got questions or comments, stick them below. If they're more complicated questions, I will be directing you to the Maze Plus Discord. So if you've got a complicated question, maybe go there first. There's a link for that below. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and I will see you next time.